Denise Roche. Tēnā Mr Speaker. Thank you. I rise to take the second call on the Customs and Excise Prohibition of Imports Made by Slave Labour Amendment Bill, and I want to thank the member for bringing it to the House. Sir, aha koa he iti he ponamu. It's small, but it is perfect. <laughs> Uh, and what I like about it, and I think this is the best use of that whakatoki, actually. Uh, what I like about it is that it's really clear, Order. really straightforward, and really simple. And we're, the Greens are proud to be supporting this bill. Um, the tragedy of modern-day slavery and of forced labour, it still affects something like 21 to 29 million people in the world, according to the ILO. And we believe that everyone deserves fair work conditions, fair pay. Um, and what this bill does is that it takes a clear moral start, stand against slavery and bonded labour. And whether that slavery is, uh, we benefit from it directly or indirectly, or indirectly, we still need to take a strong stand about it. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, take a strong stand on it. So a couple of months ago, um, the uh, slavery, the modern day slavery in index was actually announced and Don Lord, who's the chief executive of, the, um, of Hager, which is a human trafficking and slavery awareness organisation, said that uh, slavery was increasing here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, up from 600 what they estimated to be about 600 in previous years to this year about 800. And um, while that on a global scale is very small, it's still something that we should be very worried about. But um, Mr Lord also went on to say that New Zealanders should also be thinking about the goods they purchase to assure, ensure that they came from a clean international supply chain. And there is ways of doing it. It's called certification. We do it for fair trade goods all the time. And he says, and I quote, it's definitely something that New Zealanders need to become more aware of. We need to be making conscious decisions. And that, sir, is what this bill is about. It's about triggering a whole way of ensuring that consumers are able, firstly, to see if, um, uh, if, there is, uh, if the products they're buying have come through a supply chain that relies on slave labour, and they will be pro prohibited from being sold here. Now, sir, I recognise that this bill is not perfect. It's, there are some issues around the definition of bonded labour labor or slavery. There's uh, probably some uh, some parts of it that will need to be um, ironed out during the select committee process. And that's sir, where we rely on our democratic process and our people. We trust in the people of Aotearoa New Zealand to submit on these bills once we pass the first reading so that we can make better informed decisions and also have the debates about how is the best way to implement this. So this is a perfect bill. This is a bill that basically addresses a huge issue in our, uh, our, in our, um, in our, our world, and we should be taking a moral stand about it. And so I get a bit distressed when I hear um, kind of the, it's just sort of like an ideological sort of response from that side of the house basically saying that this is unworkable, because I don't believe that that's true. If we have the will, if we trust in our democracy, then we will actually end up with a bill that will do some marvellous good for consumers in New Zealand and better still, will make a difference for people who are bonded and are slaves. Because if we don't buy that stuff, then the, the demand for it starts to fall away. And that's what we need to be doing. I don't want to be part of a supply chain as a consumer that is where, where the products are produced through slave labour. 
And this is our way of being able to draw a line in the sand and say, no, we won't allow that those sorts of products to come into this country. Sir, we are totally supporting this bill. We would encourage the members on this side of the House to support it also, so that it can go to select committee, so that it can be improved and debated and discussed, so that we can have our experts tell us how best to, um, how best to change it so that it's totally workable, so that we can end slavery in the world. Thank you. David 